Good morning. Um, my name is Carlos with MTS Landscape. On this video, I want to talk about using uh, standard 120 volt uh, light fixtures in your landscape lighting. So, um, if you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, any of those places, and you're looking for landscape lighting, you typically have a small section and not very much you can do, but you go into you know next dial and you have hundreds of thousands of different light fixtures that they have that are for you know 120 volts so today i wanted to talk about you know how to install them in your landscape lighting so a lot of times these fixtures are really nice and you're like man that's what i want there is a way the key to it is actually the type of bulbs you use so these are low voltage AC DC <laughs> I just said that AC DC uh, LED light bulbs so essentially all you have to do is still run the same you know 12 2 landscape low voltage lighting connected to the um, to the light fixture now the light fixture has its white black wire and it has a ground um, all you have to do is connect your white and black to the 12 to low voltage wire don't worry about the ground and then you just replace with this light bulb a regular household light bulb will not work you have to look for a low voltage led light bulb i found this six pack on amazon for 20 bucks um and these are used like in rv camping situations um you know where it's hooked up to a generator and stuff like that so look for these led low voltage light bulbs it uses has the same standard uh input for the housing um and that's basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my mcdonald's and i'm gonna head over there and i'm gonna show you uh step by step on how to get this done um this video is not gonna be very long but i do want to go in more detail um assuming that maybe you didn't know anything about it and you're kind of worried just gonna go through it uh from start to finish and hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys on the job site okay so let me grab a couple tools uh only thing i'm gonna need would be some wire cutters i'm gonna need construction adhesive and a cock gun and we're going to need some of these Drycon uh, wire connectors make sure you get these that have the uh, silicone inside because it is going to be outside um, so make sure you get these right here the waterproof uh, connectors and I, oh and some tape so last time we were here I went ahead and used some of this adhesive to bond the base of these lights to the actual cap because I didn't want to drill four holes plus another two once I put this fixture in. So just put some adhesive. Um, this is a $200 cap. So the one thing I didn't want to do was damage it. Um, we put one hole already in the inside just to get this wire through and that was pretty nerve-wracking so I was not comfortable drilling additional six holes in this one little spot and possibly damaging this uh, this really nice uh, cap here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first connect the low voltage to the uh, bulb uh, socket here and test out the lights first before I assemble the whole thing and then figure out that one of the lights isn't working or it's not connected properly or anything like that. So I'm going to go around, get all these connected first, and then we will move on from there. So.
Okay. Now, so on the base that comes in the kit, you have your ground that's connected to the bottom of this base, and then you got these two. Don't have to worry about the ground. We're just gonna connect these two, and the great thing about low voltage is there's no real wrong way to put them in. Um, if you accidentally cross them up or anything like that, one side does have ridges, the other side is smooth. Um, I typically like to connect everything the same, but even if I accidentally mess up or anything like that, there's nothing really that goes wrong with the uh, low voltage. So let's get these connected real quick. I'm not gonna glue anything in, not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna set them all up, test them, and then we'll come back. So let me just do the other three. All right, so we have all the light bulbs put in, wired in, just so we can test before we do any assembling. So let's go out to the backyard. We're gonna go ahead and turn on all the lights for the uh, landscape lighting, and then we'll check it out. Okay. see these lights are on I got them all across this wall the wall in the front and hopefully the columns and yep there they are you can see light bulb is on the light bulb under the columns are all of them are working then you can see those lights down there as well so we're gonna turn this back off assemble all the fixtures and wrap this up Tested. Everything looks good. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get the uh, light fixture installed using the construction adhesive. Because once again, don't want to damage this beautiful cap with we're just drilling into it.
obviously it's daytime you can't really see all that well but all the light fixtures are on so the warm white and the warm white of this bulb all matches and that's the same color we have for the lights against the walls and everything so we are all set hopefully i get a picture of this um during the night time so you can go ahead and see kind of a daylight and nighttime kind of difference uh see if you guys like that so that's basically gonna be it for this video all i'm gonna do is uh, turn off the lights, set them back where sun goes down, the lights come on, the sun goes up, lights turn off so they're automatically um, turning on and off. You don't have to manually turn them on and off the way I've been doing here. Um, so all I do is come to the timer. Right now I have it on manual just so I can see. And so what we're going to do, go to photo cell auto on and on. We're gonna hit okay this is a photo cell so when this gets dark um, this sensor will notify the transformer and then go ahead and turn on all the lights then to test it out what you could do is actually put this in your hand and you'll see the lights on the wall turn on which you probably can't because of daytime but I could see it from here I'm just gonna put that back on Lights are gonna turn off automatically because it shows that it's daytime. But these are pretty simple. So this line runs to that wall, and then there's another one that runs across and to the front side where the uh, the wall and the steps go, which everything is the same block, same lights, same cap uh, throughout the yard. We also did this concrete here as well as the small little extension right over here. So these, these squares we did. Um, we also did the paver step, the approach, the concrete. We did the, all these walls, the columns with the veneers, we got the plants, drip system. So this was an ongoing uh, job. Uh, we've been here, I think, uh, in three separate occasions. First time was just to do the wall and the concrete. Second time was the concrete and the steps. Um, and then the third time was the wall, that concrete. And then all, all I did today was just get all these lights taken care of. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the customers are gonna set up some plants right here where we have the weed barrier fabric. Um, but yeah, this is the front entrance to this property. Stand back, take a look. And like I said, hopefully I'll get a after picture so you can see what it looks like with all lights on. All right, guys. So hope this video helped. Um, I know that when I'm looking at light fixtures, um, knowing that I can use different bulbs and I can use any fixture I see, whether it be low voltage or not, um, that kind of changes the game for me. So I really... Um, wanted to share that with you guys hope you guys liked the video um please like and subscribe and then just a reminder uh there's nine days left to the uh dewalt drill giveaway i have it right here with me um to enter all you do is subscribe to the youtube channel and go ahead and put a comment it doesn't have to be anything long it could literally be just a thumbs up because i will use the names in the comments to put into a wheel go ahead and spin it and get the winner that way so if you have subscribed but haven't commented you're not going to be entered so all you have to do is like i said put a thumbs up put a happy emoji whatever you want to do but that's how i'm going to be getting the names for the the wheel to go ahead and for the giveaway um so make sure you guys do comment on that last video and then december 15th we'll have a winner and yeah, hope you guys enjoy that as well. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. Have a good one. Take care.